All right, here's the solutions to the green test, question three, the implicit differentiation question. Uh, you're asked to find y prime in this equation right here. Uh, the thing to remember is that y is a function. Its derivative is y prime. Um, x is a variable. So you treat those kind of like normal, like we've been treating them. So the first thing to do, take the derivative of both sides. We got dy dx of x cubed plus dy dx of y cubed is equal to dy dx of 6xy. Um, this one's easy enough. The derivative of x cubed is just 3x squared. This one here is not quite as easy. You gotta think about it like it's the chain rule. The outside function is x cubed. The inside function is y. So what that gives you is 3y squared, and then you have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So you got y prime. Um, and on the right-hand side here, well, first we can just pull the 6 out in front because it's a constant. And then to find the derivative of xy, we'll have to use the product rule. Right? Here's our two functions, x and y. So derivative of the first function is just 1. Leave the second one alone. Then leave the first one alone, take the derivative of the second function, which is y prime. Um, so you get this big mess. If we leave this side alone, but distribute the 6 through, we get here, which is a point where we can collect all the terms with y primes on them on one side, Move all the terms without y primes in them on the other side. So we'll subtract this guy over to the right side, subtract 6xy prime over to the left. Leave that alone, and then we got this 3x squared term. Um, and then finally, if we factor out a y prime from here, we'll be left with y prime times this minus this. So maybe I'll do two steps at once. We'll factor out a y prime and then divide by everything that's left. And we'll be left with 3y squared minus 6x on the bottom here. Um, and there is your derivative, implicit differentiation. Um, part B, let's see, this guy, we're asked to find the derivative of the natural log of x. We're given the answer, we just need to kind of prove that. So we got y equals natural log of x, and the way we can get at this answer is, we're kind of given a hint in here, we're told to use the fact that the deriv derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So if you raise both sides of this equation, if you do e to both sides of this equation, you get e to the y equals e to the natural log of x, which is just equal to x. Um, the nice thing about this form is there are derivatives we can handle with implicit differentiation. If you take the derivative of the left-hand side, e to the anything is anything, but you still got to take the derivative of y, which is y prime. The right-hand side, derivative of x is just 1. Solving for y prime, you get y prime equals 1 over e to the y. Um, but to simplify, we know that e to the y is equal to x. So instead of writing e to the y down here, we write 1 over x, which sure enough is what we're supposed to get. And that's the end of question 3.